are everyone, it is Alfred Horse, welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach, and today it is time for some Dr. Terror, and I got charged up my warriors, we're not gonna be boosting up anything, we're just gonna see how far we can make our way up on the island edition of Dr. Terror without boosting up anything, because on these episodes I regularly don't boost on at least the island edition of Dr. Terror, so how about we just go ahead and uh, make our way onto stage number one, Pretty excited for this one. A little bit later today, what is on the agenda is the Boom Beach base reviews. And tonight there will be a Boom Beach live stream. Hope you guys are looking forward to that because it's going to be a, a ton of fun. I actually plan on streaming two times this week. So, um, yeah, we should be good to go in that regard, right? Okay, so we got a, a shard. That's nice. So, I don't need a lot of resources because as you guys can see, I have all of this production ongoing. I'm currently got started on my flamethrowers. All of my cannons are maxed out and that brought me up to level 58. That means I have four more levels to go before I max out in Boom Beach. And that's insane. I mean, I started back in like July of last year and I've been playing Boom Beach uh, a little bit over one year. It's crazy to see how far you can get in one year of playing Boom Beach. Now, I've been playing not always that active, so it is definitely possible to get up to max level within like 10 months or like 9 months if you're really fast. But I have been boosting up, uh, I mean I have been finishing off stuff earlier and sometimes I got lazy. But right now, um, you know, it's, it's so much fun to play this game. It is so incredible to be able to beat everything. I mean, I still remember very, very nicely, I very, I very much, what's the word, vividly? I very much remember the time where I took down Dr. Terror for the first time. That was when I was around like level 48 or something like that. And uh, right now being able to always take down Dr. Terror without, you know, if, if I boost up everything. I always am able to take on Dr. Terror as if it's nothing. It's so much fun. Okay, so enough with that intro. We're, all right, uh, we're already on stage number 4 right now. I usually like to talk for the first couple of... Um, Stages before we get into st the strategic part so that way, um, you know, the episode doesn't get too boring. So for this one um, If you're using heavy Zuka, you want to be shocking the uh, you want to be shocking the rocket launchers uh, One single boom cannon isn't going to be hurting a lot of your heavies So for the warriors you can basically make your way with this flare over here You can basically make the warriors walk over there Without them getting hurt and then after that, you maybe want to be making those warriors go to the right side over here. Uh, with a triangle smoke, they should be good to go. And then from here on out, you obviously want to be going to the headquarters. You only need two smokes from the supply boxes to actually make your way up there. And then from here on out, you can just drop some flares here and there. I'm potentially... Uh, I don't know what to say, potentially. I don't even know why, why I said that. Um, I'm going to be getting rid of everything that can insta-kill my warriors. So that is cannons... Uh, regular boom cannons and then some sniper towers because a lot of sniper tower hits uh, do essentially the same thing as uh, You know cannons and such so gotta be careful of those. Okay stage number four complete We lost one unit because that boom cannon actually did hit me. So we're gonna have to get that one back And let's move on to stage number five. So stage number five this time around we have a shock launcher down there now this shock launcher should be pretty strong. I'm not really sure. Let's drop an artillery on it to test it out. So this one is... I think it's like level... I think it's like level 4 with the boost that's ongoing. I'm not really sure. Let's let's get take a guess here. I think it's level 4. If I'm right, that's going to be awesome. But I'm not sure. Let's count this one out to actually check what level this one is. And it is level... Oh, it's level 1. Okay. So the boost is 104%. That's actually pretty major. So, there's two ways you can actually go ahead and do this. Now, obviously, you can go um, with the heavy Zuka. You want to be going the left side because machine guns obviously don't really hurt your heavies that much. And for warriors, you're going to be walking from the mortar to the shock launcher to the headquarters. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so dropping the flare. And I only need two smokes here. Only two. Uh, cannon is going to be hitting us, but that's okay. I don't mind losing a couple of warriors here and there. Going to be dropping the artillery onto the mortar. Making two smokes to make my way up to the shock launcher. And then from here on out, you need, oh, you only need one more smoke to make your way up to the headquarters. Perfect smoking. There we go. So once again, for me, 
uh, I want to be getting rid of the cannons, the boom cannons, and this time around the shock launcher as well. So I'm dropping two shocks, and the rest are all going to be med kits. And I have some energy left, so I'm dropping one artillery here. And um, maybe some critters over here at the right, so I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Should be going down. There we go. Only lost two warriors because of cannons and stuff. And we're moving on to stage number six. Now, stage number six, for me, unboosted... Uh, it's it's a matter of I'm either gonna be able to take it down or not uh, Actually, that's the case on Volcano on Island Edition 9 out of 10 times I am definitely able to take down station number 6 with the Warriors at least I don't know about Heavy Zuka, but Warriors for sure So, Headquarters 300,000 health, that's actually pretty insane 126 building health And I'm kinda like checking how I should be walking on this one so, I can drop one artillery here, getting all of these four mines over here. So, I think I'm going to be walking from this flamethrower to this sniper tower over here. And then from the sniper tower, making my way with two smokes up to the headquarters. You basically need six smokes for this one. So, um, one, two, three, four. I think I need six. Yeah, I need six. Alright, let's do this. So, I'm going to be dropping the artillery right around here. And I will probably hit that boom mine at the left side there as well. But I don't mind, honestly. I don't think it will be a, a game change or game breaker, if anything. So, actually, one way to avoid the boom mine, but I'm not really sure if this will work out, is to go this way. And I will try to make it with two smokes. So let's just drop the flare here. Smoke here, smoke there. Okay, that works perfect as well. So you can avoid the boom mine and still use the same amount of flares and smokes to make your way up there. So that's just experimental right there. Uh, gonna get the shock and those buildings over there. Dropping a bunch of med kits. Uh, dropping an artillery onto the headquarters. You could actually drop an artillery here, get that energy back, do a tiny bit of damage and then still drop one more artillery. And there goes stage number six. Fairly easy. Look at how much units we have left. We have four landing crafts which are totally filled up. And the other four don't even lost a lot of casualties here. Uh, Stair station number six comes with a guaranteed dark crystal. So that is one power powder we can use. And we're going to be moving on to stage number seven. Okay, boosting this up. And uh, getting them back, I mean. And let's see what stage seven is all about. So, stage number seven is going to be tough. I I'll say already. We have two shock launches here at the left side, and we have two shock launches at the right side. So that means that you're going to be needing a lot of gunboat energy to take this one down, because you obviously don't want your units at stage 7 not to be hitting the headquarters. So I'm going to, I'm going to be dropping one shock onto these two. These two shock launches are going to be dropping it right there, and then the second shock is going to be... Uh, try like on the mortar right here because then you're gonna be getting the shock launcher the boom cannon this boom cannon and this machine gun where the machine gun is the most important one to be getting a third shock would be at the top here and that will be machine gun flamethrowers machine gun rocket launcher and shock launcher and then maybe what you can do is is okay so you need four shocks basically to take this one out and I would suggest, if you have the energy to do four shocks, to drop the first shock a little bit left from the flamethrower to hopefully get these two cannons as well, and the shock launcher and this machine gun. The second shock would be right here, but I would drop it right in the split between the sniper tower, the mortar, and the cannon. And for that, you're going to be getting the shock launcher and hopefully this cannon as well. The third shock would be at the top here, getting all of these buildings. And the fourth shock would be... Um, getting those machine uh, rocket launchers with the shock launcher. So let's see if we have enough energy to do this. I don't think I do, but you know, we can also always just try. So one artillery onto these mines over here. Okay, and then it's gonna be tricky. I suppose the best way of doing this. Oh, there's also a mine over here. Well, that's insane. <laughs> Okay, let's make our way up to this uh, flamethrower over here. Dropping my smokes. So, I could go to the sniper tower, but I can also go to this cannon. With two smokes. 
Then I only need one more smoke to make my way up to the headquarters. I am going to be walking through a couple of mines here and there. But uh, we should be good. And then we made our way up there. And I only have 44 gunboat energy left. So that means I probably won't have enough gunboat energy to shock everything. So I'm just going to shock what is important to me using three shocks. And then one mad kid onto the headquarters. So I shocked three things. I didn't shock the last shock launcher. And I'm really curious to know how that one's going to be uh, packing out. So right now, halfway gone. It's going to be pretty close, but um, I, I probably needed the last shock in order to take down this Dr. Terrace. As you guys can see, I take it down 20, 20%, 25% 20 health left, and I need four shocks to do this. So, let me actually check if there's another way of doing this. Um, probably not, because this uh, shock launch is reaching pretty far. An alternative to, uh, to half on this one is by using the heavy Zuka attack strategy, but then walking just behind these flamethrowers and these machine guns, because there's an open spot here next to the mines, and you can position your units there to snipe the headquarters. But the issue you're gonna be facing is gonna be this mortar, and maybe this machine, no, not the machine gun, no, the, the mortar's gonna be an issue there. Uh, so you gotta be careful with that. But that's how you can do it, and then make sure you shock these three shock launchers over there because this last shock launcher does not reach in this area so that is your alternative and that was the guide of dr terror today i hope it helps you guys out uh, tomorrow i'll be back again for the volcano base and make sure you you guys tune in a little bit later today for the boom each live stream it will be starting at 7 p.m united kingdom time i think but I'll make an announcement video separately just for the stream. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. A little bit later today, you guys will be getting another episode of the Boom Beach Base Reviews. And that being said, that's going to be doing it for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure that if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. That being said, this has been Reversal for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.